Welcome to Pregnancy and Birth Diaries. Today we will be talking about HRT, hormone replacement therapy, and its effect on pregnancy and fertility in general. So if you are considering getting HRT in your, let's say, perimenopausal phase, or maybe already undergoing HRT and still in childbearing age and thinking maybe um, to get pregnant in the future, then you might want to stick around. This is a super complex topic and I am not an expert nor a medical professional, so I encourage you to talk to your doctor about this. Now, this is out of the way, let's dive right in. For menopausal stage, it's a transitional phase leading up to menopause. It usually begins several years before the actual menopause, when our ovarian reserve, uh, our reserve of eggs starts declining fast and our ovaries gradually produce less and less estrogen. It can start in our 40s, but it can also begin in our 30s. During perimenopause, we may experience irregular menstrual cycles, changes in menstrual flow, and the kinds of symptoms that we get when we are already in menopause, like hot flashes, um, night sweats, sleep disturbances, mood swings, and vaginal dryness. And perimenopause ends when we do not have menstrual cycle for 12 months in a row, at which point it's considered that we are most likely in menopause. And the period that follows after it is called postmenopause. It's when we have permanently transitioned from reproductive years to postmenopause. It is super important to keep in mind that all these three phases are natural and normal part of uh, the aging process process for women and the symptoms can be different for everyone and it's best that you consult with your um, doctor about it. So why do we even consider hormone replacement therapy uh, if menopause is a natural part of aging? It's because the symptoms of menopause can take quite a toll on us. Hormonal fluctuations in the perimenopausal period and then in postmenopause stable but very low levels of hormones is not not fun to deal with. It has a significant impact on our quality of life. And HRT is a treatment that can relieve uh, these symptoms. So with HRT, we get hormones like estrogen and progestin either uh, separately or in uh, combination to replace the hormones that are in decline during per perimenopause and uh, very low in postmenopause. Uh, there are different types of HRT, which you uh, should consult uh, your doctor about. If I'm not mistaken, for women who have had hysterectomy, there is estrogen-only therapy. And for women with an intact uterus, there is uh, estrogen uh, estrogen progestin therapy. So now if you are pregnant or trying to conceive, HRT is generally not recommended as it can interfere with natural hormone levels and fertility because estrogen and uh, progesterone are crucial hormones for supporting a healthy pregnancy and artificially high levels of these hormones from HRT can disrupt the normal hormonal balance that is required for conception and then healthy pregnancy. So when you are when you become pregnant while you are on HRT, you should see uh, your doctor immediately because HRT may need to be discontinued to prevent potential risks to your pregnancy. There might be medical reasons for HRT, but of course, each case is carefully evaluated by your doctor uh, at that point. Now, if you are maybe still thinking about getting pregnant now and you are on HRT, you might want to know that it can affect fertility, especially because it suppresses ovulation and alters the uterine lining that makes it difficult for the fertilized egg to implant onto the uterine lining. So if you are having the HRT treatment, you might uh, want to discuss uh, your fertility goals with your doctor and depending on individual circumstances, HRT might be stopped or switched to alternative treatments before attempting to conceive. The use of HRT during pregnancy can be risky and to you and to your baby because there might be an increased risk of miscarriage, um, birth defects, and pregnancy complications like preterm birth and um, low birth weight. So HRT and uh, pregnancy is a very complex topic 
that requires careful consideration. So make sure to talk to your doctor about it uh, to make an informed decision. All right, that is it for today. Stay well, and I will see you next time.